Howdy dorks! Howdy howdy! Happy almost end of the week, happy Thursday, happy Unchowder, happy welcome in! Welcome in! We're here to play Dyson Sphere. Uh, we're gonna keep going, we are... we are... waist deep in it, at least. Um, we are... Uh, we're doing kind of some of everything, there's a couple more things we need to do. Uh, just to, so that we're doing everything, but also we're scaling, right? We just put down a whole bunch more uh, solar sail launchers and rocket launchers. Uh, so we're going to increase our production of the Dyson Sphere parts. Uh, so now it's just going to grow faster from here, right? Um, it's been it's been getting made, uh, but it's a whole dang process. So we just want to, you know, make things go faster. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of where we're at. Um, there's uh, the main thing that we're not doing yet. I don't know if we'll get the whole thing done today, uh, but the goal is antimatter and white cubes. That's kind of the last thing we need to work on. Um, yeah. Did the jump thing work? I assume it worked. I didn't actually see. Jump. There we go. <laughs> I can even... Here, let me... Give you, give you a couple stars. There you go. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, we're we're kind of just going to get into it here, but... Uh, but yeah, it's... Oh, you got one! Ah! <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and she... Jezebel's definitely here. Um, yeah, um, you're okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm also okay. It's been... It's a week. Um, today's episode is brought to you by rocks. Rocks are great, right? Um, but also by you. Clicking the buttons... Jumping, catching stars, uh, liking, subscribing, doing whatever the, the thing is down there, whatever you're watching, that it's a help thing. So I appreciate y'all doing it. Um, that is the foundation that I am standing on right now. So I appreciate all that you're doing. And and let's 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 do the thing. Uh, we we have a we have a thing to make. Um, and I think the auto yo is gonna work. The cat's just gonna stand here. Hooray! Here we are. Okay, and then this. That's right. We have... I mean, we've helped our, our defense situation, but geez, we're just gonna keep... We're gonna be attacked intensely and forever. Um, there's even, like, there's stuff in here. Yeah, we gotta go to our other planet and, and fix a couple things. Um, there's, like, there's broken stuff everywhere now. Thank goodness. And now they're they're attacking on our, our Dyson Sphere, or not our Dyson Sphere, our black hole. Way the heck out there. That's gonna be that's the That system is gnarly. That had two hives and like 13 bases on our planet. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully it can all just defend itself. That's what I'm that's what I'm really hoping here. Um Alright, I was short. <laughs> I was short the those things, so I need to make more of those. Yeah, okay. Um, more, more of everything. Holy cow. Um, in the most immediate sense, I want to go out to... Or in, I guess, to our... Battery charger planet. Because um, I think there's a couple things we need to patch up there. Or something. Or we'll, we have some more ray receivers to put down, that's what it was. But we'll get to fly by our whole thing. Look at this. I'm just gonna fly like right through it. Stuff being oh, there's the the litter's going away. Got it. They're just right there. <laughs> look how <laughs> look how close it is. Oh, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, this, this is going to be... This is going to be pretty wild looking when it's all done. Look at that. We're just going to be... This pulp, this planet is right on top of it. Oh, I love it. Uh, because our, our... Our Dyson Sphere is huge. Our Dyson Sphere is probably oversized, and I don't care at all. Um, okay, so we have all of these ray collectors. And we are covered in all this area. We could go out quite a bit, it looks. Um, I'm just going to plop down what we have here. 
leaves me with eight, so I mean that could be just another row. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, we will be we will be making more of these, and oh, now it needs foundation. Um, shortly, not all of these will be used for actually generating power. We're going to use them for antimatter as well. But we will get there. I think we'll probably have to make more as well. I want to have at least this many for the power, right? Oh, does not don't even need it. There we go. Okay. Nothing, nothing huge there. Uh, but like, you look at all these. Yeah, they're at a hundred percent efficiency. They're all, they're all outputting fifteen megawatts. We look at our whole system power situation. We're charging at 1.4 gigawatts. We're discharging at just under one gigawatt. Uh, so we're we're good. We're just we're just good. And I think we still have capacity with our chargers here, especially now that they're all boosted. Yeah. So like they they're almost at their at their rated power, but they can go up to like 60 something because we're boosting the because we're proliferating the batteries. So this is all fine. I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, especially because I don't actually have any <laughs> any more uh, of those things on me, right? Yeah, I didn't actually bring any. Um, but that's because I knew that we didn't need any. Uh, so then battery can go back in. And look, we even have space for dead batteries. Um, yeah, okay. So then I don't think there was anything on this planet to to repair, right? Everything... Everything is elsewhere. That's so that's the black hole. And then and then what's this one? This is that's home. Oh, right, our our inner planet. That's right. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna go back home. And yeah, maybe maybe what we're doing, we're increasing our, our solar sail and our, our rocket launcher capacity. I think that's going to be our, our first thing. Um, but let's also, let's stop by our, our inner planet because it sounds like we've been getting attacked there. We'll just clean that up real quick while we're there. Oh, and research. Our research is slowing down. But, you know... We'll do it. We'll we'll find out what's what's being slow, and we will figure it out. Ooh, just warping through our Dyson sphere here. <laughs> there we go. And now they're attacking on the black hole again. Twenty-two. That's just gonna happen forever now. So that's cool. Uh, anyway, how? How are you? How was your week? I have been... Hello, hello, hello! Welcome in! We're warping. My week has been, like, productive in some ways, but very not productive in others. It'll only keep happening if you don't destroy them. True. Can they... If you, like... If you destroy a hive, they can probably just send another seed there, right? I assume. Like I assume they could they they could just repopulate, right? Um, but I also don't know. Like I have no idea how much firepower it would take to actually take on a hive. Like we have a ridiculous space fleet going on now, but like would this actually take on a hive? I have no idea. Those hives are huge. They're ridiculous. Especially when they start getting to like level six or whatever. This week for this week is like this for me too. Yeah, I would assume as much. I don't know how effective the the baby hives are. True, but like we're. Like we're we're dealing with some big ones now, right? Like I would it'd be cool if we could clean up our home system. Especially because that's like the weak the the weak hive, right? In our home system. The the training wheels hive. If we attack a hive, we should try that one first. 
Because if we can't take on that one, then we can't take on anything else. Um, but we're also, I mean, we're working through our, our research, right? We have we have them upgraded a little bit. Um, we could do more more drone damage. Like even before we need whites, we can do more more attack speed, more durability. Um, our our space fleet can go up a good bit more. Number of space fleets plus one, plus one, plus two, plus two. This repeatable? Some of them are repeatable. This one, like this one, is got a little infinite symbol on it, right? Uh, but I don't think they all repeat. Like this one does. This one does. These these do. Like this one, I don't think this one does. This one doesn't. You can't have infinite height. <laughs> I guess that's important. Oh, look at this. Okay. So this is logistics carrying capacity, but then you get up this high when you need when you start needing whites, you start getting the station storage limit increases. That's really interesting. I don't know that that happened before. Um, but like we're we're approaching max uh, max drone effectiveness. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like we could do like we have space fleet slots, fleet slots, fleet slots. But space fleets plus one. Okay, so I think we have. I think we have two space fleets, which means we could get one, two, three, four, five, six. We could get six more fleets. The what? Oh, what? Did I? Oh no! I'm out of space warpers. Oh no! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that's bad. How long, okay, if I if we if we go accelerate to full speed, how long would it take to get back home? <laughs> it's not gonna be a good answer. I've been really eager for the space hive in my game to close into plasma turret range totally. Especially since the cowards won't attack me or send relays. To be fair, I've started destroying the relays, yeah that's fair. Yeah, this is gonna take a day. Um, let's load. Resume from where you left, and then... Auto save four. Is this too far? Let's just, let's do this. Let's do this. Because, yeah, we're... <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm starting back at the start of the stream, but uh, we only have one space warper, so... Oops! I'll just take a... I'll just take a little stack here. Oh my god. Um, I should have a... I, sh I should have that here, shouldn't I? So I don't so I don't forget. Um, I feel like there's something else that I should have put in there too. You don't have you don't have drones. That's actually fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, there wasn't anything we had to do here, right? I just I needed to go <laughs> redo it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll plop down those ray receivers. Not like it took long. Spend most of that time talking. Um, so you've you've been starting to to destroy the relays, have they? And they haven't been aggressive with that. I was in, under the impression that that would like really upset them in some way. At least that's what the tooltip implied. I'm surprised they're just letting that stand.
So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe that's what we should do in the in our home system. Oh, they don't like it. <laughs> but they have have they been sending just not to attack me? Hmm. They haven't been sending space fleets or anything. I'm slightly surprised at that. Okay. Pardon my recklessness. And then everything else was good. Now I have space warpers. Now let's go back home. I'm good at things. Yeah, and then we'll and then we leave again. I like how like the view actually gets like all all warped out when you're in warp and when you're in warp speed. Kind of satisfying. Okay, here we are again. Um, and we're I'm I'm still curious about the painting thing. As if I. Custom colors, modify the color of the selected structure. So I could just... No. Delete to remove shell, interesting. I'm not gonna do that. It's like I don't see... I don't see it actually changing. Hmm. Or if I... Because it doesn't actually do anything, does it? Strange. Um... I don't have, like, a, a color sampler. Uh... Oh, I see. Okay. Do like a no. IDK. <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite know. Oh, but see, like here, you can see it's different. Oh, I did. Oh, so I did change something. Maybe that changes. Maybe it's not immediate or something? Even started launching Dyson Sphere parts, but it's not ramping them up a ton for some reason. Hmm. Can separately paint points, lines, and panels. Yeah, but I was like, I'm trying to paint the panels. Right? Panels. It's like... Like, what does that mean? It's changing on... Hmm. Hexagons are responding. Are they? Maybe I just... can't see anything. Okay. Related, but I've been doing a lot of reading about colorblindness recently. For no reason. Actually, there is a reason, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Whatever. Long story short, I'm not surprised when my eyes are lying to me, because they do that frequently.
Are we gonna get close enough? We're still gonna be like 10 out. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm just three. That stupid, <laughs> the stupid black hole system. We could buzz by the, the, the hive here. It's right in our way. I, I do have a, a, you know, full whatevers. Oh, and there's also this. What is... What goes here? What goes here that couldn't go here? Is that like the, the shells? Because if I can target AoE stuff manually, I mean, that would be helpful for taking out those little bases. I want to buzz by him. I don't want to. I don't want to take on the hive itself. Here, let's. Uh, yes, we'll overwrite the backup. That's fine. Okay. Just in case something terrible goes goes on, but I think, I think we can buzz by and and take out a bunch of their ships, right? Like I, I worry about their turrets. Their turrets are probably nasty. And I worry about the full numbers of what they have. But we fought, you know, five of them at a time, and they've done very little to us. And certainly do a flyby, yeah. We are slightly going out of our way for this, but that's fine. And which way is this facing? I'm... How are we going to do this? <laughs> I don't want to fly, like, across the entire face of it. I just want to get close enough for some of their ships to scramble. And like not all of them. Yeah, that's not what I want to do. I want to do like. Of course, turning is hard. How do I? Yeah, this works, I guess. Let's see if we can just shoot under or something. Come on. This is my neighborhood. Knock, knock. There they go. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna... We're just gonna run as they chase. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's that's quite a few. But they can't even keep up. Need to, like, kite them to a planet. Come on. I know you want some of this. How are they not close? Oh, I'm getting... Oh, this is not what I want to do. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Let's, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh... It's... I, w I wish I had more... More agility in space I want I want to be able to like be in more control of how I'm turning and stuff I feel like I'm making really big arcs like I know I can decelerate but it costs power to decelerate the same way it costs power to accelerate let's see what I can do I'll do I'll try one more <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to, uh, try to hit and run. It's true. But they couldn't follow me. They were too slow. Do I need to, do I need to slow down? To like half speed? A mere thousand meters a second? I guess this will give me more batteries if I if I let it charge a little bit too. I guess that is that is much faster turning, isn't it? Okay. 
come at me. Okay, so they're they're hitting my shields, but see, I'm not attacking back. Where's my where's my ships? Oh, what's what? What? What is this? Insight. 50 dark fog units. Huh. Wow. Well, that's cool that it tells me. It still didn't really help, though. Ooh, 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 okay. So when you slow down, you get you do get a lot more turning. Okay. Good to know. Anyway, let's not spend too much time with that, I guess. Um, oh, this can this can go away. Finally. Uh, and then what was... Oh, there's a couple of things that they've hit. Just very, very slightly. They've tapped a couple things. And then a couple of these. Oh, and there's the base. Okay, cool. Just repair the things, please. Have I replaced the missiles on this planet, I wonder? Oh, not that button. Uh, I'm gonna take this out real quick. Just plop. Whoops, that was not. Just come on, just there. Where's all my ships? I have to do something. to do something for my ships. Oh, do I? And I don't have a... I don't have a signal tower. That's what's going on. Okay, hold on. Let me grab that one. There we go. That's a little better. I lost a... I lost a laser turret. But I think we'll be fine. This should be the only one on this planet, right? <laughs> it's cool to see them coming all the way across. Uh, that's... yep. Cool. Yeah, I think it's just the one. I'll just finish... finish with the little turrets, please. Oh, did they run out of power or something? Oh. Now there's my ships. Interesting. I wonder if you have to be at some sort of power threshold for the ships to come out. I had not considered that before. Now they're just going to stay out. Anyway, that's that taken care of. I wonder if that's why my ships didn't come out in in this in space also because I because you need to have energy on hand in order to power your fleet. Is that what's going on? Because that would take some extra considerations, wouldn't it? Got the I did right. Um. All right, and then. This, so this was a thing that was sending out all of our excess these things, right? Here, just go, just go. There we go. I can take this back. There we go. Because uh, this planet is really just for... Oh, and now you need to bring in... That's right. Uh, you need to... Remote demand batteries. Because you weren't doing that before. Beer beat. Okay, I'll be here. I took a walk earlier. It was a bit colder than I wanted it to be. But not too bad. Um, so yeah, you can have all the dead batteries you want. And then I'm going to bring in the charged batteries. And then these are going to be for discharging now. This is no longer our battery charging planet. And this this planet has already been fine with uh, with just all this geothermal, right? Things, everything was working even without the batteries. So that's cool. 
Um, we're getting iron. We are we're mining iron and sending that back home. So this planet also has 7 million titanium. And a bunch of copper. Actually, we should get the copper and the titanium. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna immediately put that station right back down. Uh, but it's gonna be for titanium and copper. Space Warpers actually doesn't need Space Warpers, does it? If it's just sending stuff home, that's in the same system. It can just, it can just be 10 of these ships and then I'll give it some of these. And that's all that's gotta be really. And then I guess I probably should have built it next to where the ore actually is. Whatever. Uh, there's a bunch of copper there. And a bunch of titanium there. Uh, I did it. And copper there. Okay. <laughs> We're good. We'll just we'll hoover all this up. There's like those more, there's better miners too, isn't there? Can I, I can't really squeeze. Wasn't there, there was like a, there's like an ignore grid button. There's like, there's gonna be one in there that I can't get. There's two. That's fine. Whatever. Look, another attack. On the black hole. Yeah, geez. some copper. Oh, there was titanium over here. Another holy cow. I wonder if that's just because I mean, there are just a bunch of bases there. 
or if it's because of like that the material that we're getting on that planet specifically because it's such a rare thing I guess it's just because there's so many Looks good to me. The more we can source inside our, our home star system, the better, I think. Obviously faster to get it from, from closer by. You don't have to you know, spend the space warpers to get it. So everything we can get from our home system, we should. Probably we should go out to our, our ice planet too. It's been a it's been a while since we've been to our little ice planet out there. Out of building range, just that tiny little bit. There's another copper there. There's more coal. I don't think we need more coal. I mean, that's almost a million copper right there. There's another million, another 800,000. Some of these could be closer to here even. No, stone. There's some copper that could go in here. Copper, copper. There's a lot of copper here. 8 million copper. That'll keep us going for a little bit, I think. Um, I don't think I quite have the the conveyor belts to do something super long. Maybe we'll just leave this be for now, but we'll we know that there's plenty more, right? I mean, look at that. All right, these should be unless we're full on titanium at home, which would be a little surprising, I guess. Yeah, let's go home. Whoa, 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 no, I 
guys. <laughs> no, come back. Come back. <laughs> uh, that was a bit of a slingshot. We made it though. Holy cow. Hey, look, you aren't doing anything, are you? Gimme. Oh, look, our, our bots are coming by to, to fill us up on stuff. Um, okay, I know I want to make sure our research is okay, which it clearly isn't. We're needing more particle broadbands for the purples. And, and the greens are okay. Wow. Actually, the purples are what's holding us up. So let's go check on particle broadbands. Which are going to be because of the the titanium, probably. I mean, those are down here somewhere. And then here's our here's our solar sail. We're we're going to be visiting a lot of this stuff, uh, but I want to make sure research is going in at least some capacity. Because those, those particle things are over here, I think. Yeah, here they are. You are short on the carbon nanotubes. And the carbon nanotubes are short on... It's actually a good question. What are you short on? You have all your stuff. Maybe we're just not making fast enough. I mean, this whole production line is going. We just don't have enough. Clearly, that's the problem. Yeah, we're we're making exactly as much as we're producing. Okay. So we could duplicate that whole thing, or we could go out and find some stalagmites, stalagmite crystals, and that would circumvent needing two separate things for this. That would be cool not needing graphene or titanium for this thing that we're short on. That would be quite nice. Uh, so maybe that's maybe that's first. Maybe let's see where our stalagmite crystals live. Uh, there's none in that system. And there's none in this system. Oh, OK. We would need to take over another system. Um, I also care about fractal silicon, but that is, there is some here. Um, I also care about kimberlite, which, which there's some there. Um, we're getting fire ice and organic crystal and sulfuric acid and grating crystal. I want, I want those stalagmite things. If a system had a bunch of things, that would be great. Tolemon? Oh, here we go. Organic crystal and and stalagmite crystal. Um, okay, so that's that's a good choice. That's six light years away. That's not too bad. Definitely not the furthest thing we're doing. Um, here's more. Oh, there's 18 million there. There's 2 million here. Okay, so let's... Tania Borealis. And you have Kimberlite and Fire Ice. Okay. 18 million stalagmite crystals. I think I like that. Just curious if there's anything else nearby. It doesn't look like it. Nope. 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 Okay. I think we found where we're going. Right, because that's the lesser one. 
Yeah, I think Tania Borealis. I think that's going to be our... It's like on the way to our, uh, our, our black hole as well. Oh, and there's 19 million there. Oh, geez. And you also have Kimberlite. You both have Kimberlite. 1 million versus 3 million. Okay. So maybe I think I'm going to keep doing that. And then you... No. No. Okay. So. Another remote base situation for us. Uh, we have... We have our interstellar station. Um, do I just go ahead and make a second one right now? Whoops. Uh, well, I guess first question is, are those two things on the same planet or are those two separate planets? Oh, geez. So here's Kimberlite. Here's stalagmite. Here's more kimberlite. There's fire ice. Okay. So we care about like three of these planets. In some in some way. Two million and one million. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do this one first. Uh, but I guess we're gonna come back for this kimberlite at some point, I think, because that's good for diamonds. But I think our diamonds are okay. Look how look how Look how askew the system is. Get your get your stuff in order, Tania, Tania Borealis. Um, okay, so then if we have... I guess I can look at my, my blueprint. Um, I need some some energy exchangers and some, uh, some sorters. One of those is way easier than the other. That's not too bad. Uh, and then if we can get fractal silicon, that would help with all of crystal silicon. Okay. Oh, that, but that's just going to be the one. Because I need more other things. steel. Ugh. I have... I have what? I have two. I need one more, so that works. Um, I have my missile launchers. I have some batteries for some reason. I guess that'll help us get things kick-started. Um, I wanted to make more of these. Or these laser turrets. I don't know if I need that many. I mean, I guess we'll have backups, right? Just make <laughs> I'll make ten of them. That's fine. Um, oh, I should ditch these four solar sails because I don't need those on me. Um, and I have like I have all these space warpers. Did I really? Did I have space warpers on me and not need to reload? I wonder. Uh, oh, there's a base here. Hi. Hello. When did you get here? I didn't give you a welcome party or anything. Here's here's your fruit cake. Welcome to the neighborhood. Blam, blam, blam. Okay. <laughs> Good. Done. Um, but I want to put a distributor on the space warpers. Of course, I need to make the holding thing. Uh, uh, that's so silly. <laughs> Here, let's just do do this right now. Do I have more bots? I have more bots. And look at all this fuel. 
Look at all this fuel. Which is good because now those are those are rocket parts. Those are Dyson Sphere parts now. Yeah. And then you get ten little bots. And that means I have I will be getting uh Like what I say, at least 100. Can I say, can I say 50? Let's say at least 50. And I'll put, I'll put this back because that's that's plenty. Um, and then, and then what was I doing? I was making more laser turrets, but uh, I need more of those photon thingies. Even then, that's just kind of for safety. For when I'm making my little forward bases. Oh, this is just doing nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, here. And see, this is even... This is even the thing that's holding up our, um... Our solar sails, isn't it? This could just be... This could be made better very, very easily. Uh, I guess I'll go like that. Yeah, perfect. the processors. It's always just going to be the processors. And then you're... Oh, you didn't get upgraded the full way? That's fair enough. This is literally just... Prisms? We're probably going to... Probably going to need more prisms at some point, but... You, this this all can just get better, better stuff. That'll help a little. Good, except for you, because you're not connected. Okay, and of course these are accumulating because I told them to, and then I am going to reduce this a little bit. Right, and then that's all I needed for, for a bunch of those. Good enough.
Okay, and then I'm sure I can do more here, but of course I need more foundations. Hmm. <laughs> what was I... I think that's all I needed, right? That's all I needed to do... to go out for our stalagmites, I think. I think. Uh, which one? I have too much stuff in here. So we can do our base. Um, and then... And I need to make sure we have enough of these actually mine the things and get these things are just Okay. Let's let's go. Guess let's try to not get sucked into our gas train again. is so unconscious. button. Ooh. That was close. All right, this is our this is number 2. Yeah. Okay. Hello hive. See that hive has a lot fewer ships on it. But it has like a lot more of the middle stuff. Or maybe it's about the same. Hmm. Oh, is this a water planet? This is a water planet. Interesting. This is, this is a this is a water planet. Cool. Um. Well, there's two bases here that we should kick off. There's a whole bunch of oil. There's a whole bunch of oil. Holy cow. Um. And then a whole bunch of stalagmites. And I didn't grab foundations. I didn't grab foundations, did I? Apparently that's going to be quite crucial. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Let's go grab some foundations. I'm doing real good today. I wasn't expecting a water world. I'm not even sure I have ever seen that before. Well. Just back and forth. I didn't let my batteries recharge either. Is this not going to be enough? It's going to be close again. Uh, it's... Think it's close enough? We're... Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Getting the white cubes is f because of this. I want the white cube so we can increase our 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 ship's battery capacity. That's like the entire point. <laughs> mm. 
I guess the middle part looks about the same. It's just there's a whole bunch of ships there. It's just, it's just too much. I want to be able to make my own like space platforms. I want to make like satellites and, and spaceships and space stations. I want to make a space station. Uh, and I want to go over here. My little rock machine. Being, well, if it's a holding water planet, we're, we're gonna overstock a little bit, but that is fine. Okay, and <laughs> let's try, let's try that again. Go up to here, stalagmite my crystal. Okay. Oh, now I, I want to recharge. Let's. <laughs> Make sure our batteries are full. Um, oh, this is almost all done. That's cool. I'll, I definitely want this real estate for uh, for things, you know? Well, that's cool. There was iron over here at some point, too. Oh, and how's, how's this? Yeah, look at all that. Look at all that. Perfect. And yeah, we have iron way down here. Yeah, here it is. That's getting close. That's dang close. And you're, you're not doing a thing. Okay. Perfect. Each doing just a tiny bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, iron and copper seems fine. Iron seems fine. Everything that's all that's all fine. That's all still good. Uh where's it? I just want to stand right here, right? I'll I'll charge my batteries. Eventually. Because right now we have 1.6 gigajoules core energy. That and then up to 2.4. Holy cow. Mecha durability goes up. Or is plus 2.4. So this was plus 1.6. What's our what's our total? So something like 3, 3.4. Uh Right? I guess. <laughs> uh, but then if, if we're at three something and another two is gonna be significant, right? Uh, but then there's also this, which is a megawatt of fuel power. So that's how how quickly your energy receives, and then this one is like how much total do you have? My my stuff is still good. I think we're good. Okay, let's let's try this again.
Okay. I want... Oops. Yeah. Okay. Back to the silly water planet. There we go. Okay. Now, now that we can actually do stuff here, um, there's 18 million total on this planet. Each of these veins is like one and a half million. Holy cow. They seem most densely packed around here. And there's a bunch of oil. We need oil. There's some oil. Um, but maybe, maybe, maybe right in here. We'll make it a little island for ourselves. Of course, my little, my little base blueprint is not going to be foundation efficient. <laughs> it's a little spaced out. Uh, so we're going to have to do, we're going to do something like this. How, <laughs> I don't even know how, how big this is going to have to be. Oh, that's not... Actually, did I get it? Got it in one. Look at that. Cool. Put down the thing. Yes, thank you. Uh, and look, batteries are just going to show up. Uh, you need to be the better missiles. Uh, remote man. And then we're gonna have stalagmites. And that's gonna supply. Easy. This isn't even necessary right now, but that's just gonna be in there for when it's needed. We're getting... yeah, all the stuff is just going to show up. Perfect. Okay, so then now we just need to start mining the things, right? And they're like underwater? How is this? By... oh, look at that. Oh yeah, they are under there. Weird, I have to put down foundations just to... Just to reveal the things. That's kind of... kind of funky. Okay. Fortunately, the uh, the conveyor belts can go on the water and don't actually need ground or anything. Right, and then... Jeez. like the power. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> oh, 
help it. Is that not... It claims to be close enough. Oh, but we haven't gotten our batteries yet. Because they come from a little far away. Um, I'm just going to drop these in there to speed that up. Milestone, hooray. Um, oh, and I need to make sure the missiles will actually come out of here. There we go. There we go. It's like the planet from Star Wars. <laughs> the planet, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of Waterworld. Because it's literally a water world, but... Uh, you're, you're, you're also not wrong. Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. I know which one, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Uh, at the, the end of Rogue One. Um, I agree. So I think that planet even had more land than this. This is like, this is just water. This is, this is just water. What's even? I don't know what that is. That's a good movie. I do like that movie. I mean, I like, I like all the Star Wars movies, even the, even the new ones I enjoy, uh, but Rogue One, Rogue One's pretty, pretty top tier for me. Um, and then I probably want to grab at least one more, right? Did read a good Twitter thread about how someone was heartbroken that there was so much, that there was so much Asian representation, but they all died. True. True. I mean, people were complaining about there being representation at all. Because people complain about the strangest things. Uh, let's do... Which ones do I want to do? Which ones... I don't know, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do that one. Let me see if we can get like three of these in here. That's like the, I mean, classic, classic horror movie trope, right? Is the the black character always dies first? Not 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 excusing it or anything, just like that's it's also nothing new. Unfortunately. you making land right i'm literally i'm taking dirt that we took from all of our other planets because <laughs> like when you when there's like a hill it does it it does it automatically so it doesn't really seem like you're doing anything but if you if there's like a hill you build something and it lowers it all the earth goes into your inventory and then it, and then when you lay foundations like that it comes back out again so we're taking dirt from other planets and, and plopping it down here Um, let's do... I feel like this. There's just gonna be constant attacks now. Just constant. This goes all the way down. Like that. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do like little little islands for power. I don't even know like how far. Something like this and this maybe?
I think that's... Well. Looks good. Um, and then how much do I have? I still have a thousand. I think we can get another one. May as well, right? Yeah, we got plenty. Oh, can I get that middle one? Not, not really. like that. I mean, that's all of them. Perfect. Oh, is it full? Hmm, and we already filled we already filled the thing. Okay, that's fine. That's I mean that's a good sign. Um so now you have all of your stuff. You have three vein clusters of stalagmite crystals coming in. Um, I probably don't have signal towers. Mm. I mean, we could just go kick the butts of these two bases. These are these are small, so I won't be able to leave all of our veins completely safe. Because uh, I'm out of signal towers, but I think we can we can kick off what's here at the very least. And then this isn't far. We can come back if we need to. We'll just, we'll just do this the old-fashioned way with with our ships and lasers. Yeah, look at that! Ridiculous. I'm gonna f I'm gonna put a thing on it, but like I'd have to. Route a whole. I'd have to do a whole bunch of islands just to get the power back to our stuff. <laughs> oh goodness, goodness! Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna bother. Um, I think I'm gonna call that good. And and we'll go back home. Um, and we'll we'll set up our stuff. And that's that's one more that's one more material. One fewer that we don't have.
Hello, creature. Goodbye, creature. <laughs> Still want to go well back out to XX Persei and, and see if we can at least get some of the clutter out of my UI. This, this is our rockets. And these are just going. You have all your supplies and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna upgrade a bunch of stuff. Don't oh, come on. You can do it. I know it. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're gonna come back here. Um, this is this is our this is crucial stuff, right? But we're we'll work our way back up the chain. I want to make sure the research is going. I I want I want all this research to go. Um, so first of all, we need a place to receive our new stuff. Um, and I'm trying to think of what what stations still have room. I mean, this is doing this is clearly doing fine. We're getting two off-planet materials here. We're also distributing our space warpers everywhere and our proliferators everywhere, and it's still fine. Still, still has eight of its uh, of its ships in its dock. So. Maybe that's fine. I mean, these could potentially be high flow things. The like our, our proliferators could potentially be a thing at some point. Sulfur and grating crystals. Those are those are both things that we're going to use in in decent quantities, I think. And I th and this. All oh, right, we're just going to remove this. So now this is dedicated to just deuterium and hydrogen. I think that's fine. This is doing just that. Okay. I think does I mean I don't want to put it I don't want to give it its own thing. Could do no, that's gonna be pretty high flow too. And then this is yeah, that's that's good. Good on its own. Yeah, we might be putting down another station kind of specifically for more of these exotic materials. Like I would I would put it here, but I don't want to... This is behaving nicely right now. I don't want to mess it up. Um, I mean, it could go over here. We're bringing in our... Yeah, I mean, this got nine. This is where we're shipping out our, our rockets, but those are... not being produced in that high of a quantity. Like, if we're... We can do 800 with, a, with one vessel right now. That's gonna go up. We can probably do like a thousand with one vessel. We're not gonna, we're not gonna need to make them that quickly. Plus, clearly the organic crystals not being used that fast either. So I think I think we're gonna try here, and we're gonna do stalagmites. 
remote demand. They're all just going to go out and grab an entire station's worth immediately. Lovely. Perfect. He doesn't even take 10 ships to fill up the whole station. That's amazing. Um, but and you have you have ships. OK, cool. Yeah, let's call that. Let's call that what we're doing. Um, and then this. We're going to go to a, a recipe with fewer materials. Yeah, going from two materials to one. So I'm going to I'm going to pull up this whole row and, and replant it, basically. Um, oh, and oh, there's I took the copper out of here, didn't I? And and there's nothing that I'm going to be able to get out of here because this was using titanium and and these. So these are still going in so they can go other places. Fire ice is for that. What is this silicon for? Where's that silicon going? Hi. Come here. Um, right. OK, well, here's the silicon. It's going down here. And you you're already full. Okay. But of course, you're just bringing in that from <laughs> from right here. OK, interesting. Well. Right. And then that that's still going to go in. These still come out. That's all still going to be there. This. Right, because you still need titanium. And steel and sulfur. Yeah. <laughs> and this, this silly copper. Or the copper's going in there. Yeah, co there's no room for copper in there anymore. I'm just this this whole thing's just sitting here doing nothing. And you're and you're full too. Hey look, they're attacking in. Do you have room? You have a little bit of room. Um well. I'm gonna route the copper over there. Are you? You're full, of course. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Put you there. And tell you to reverse. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Oh, because you're. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Need to go in. And then once that has drawn that all back in. Right? Or no, now that's now it's taking out sulfur. How stop it. Eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, so now you can now you go back in, please. So now that can go away. And then all this sulfur goes back. Copper can go back in. And now you're mining very slowly. Hooray. I mean, 5,000, can I... This is 1,000 per row. Well, it couldn't quite fit all of that. Uh, let's just, let's just do the thing. Go all the way around. Yeah, this will be silly. Is there even room? You, haven't, you, haven't, you don't even have a spot. Don't even have a spot. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, we so I get we definitely need another <laughs> another station. 
There's just no way around it. Um, right? I mean, I feel like I should clear this out at the very least. I feel like we're probably using these elsewhere. I couldn't tell you where. So I still want them on the network. Yeah, they get used for multiple things. Um, yeah, the, the broadbands and the, the things and the things. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna say... What am I gonna say? Well, the silicon gets used down here, right? I should have the silicon coming out of here. Right here. Hello, hello, Gooner girl. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. Um, I'm fiddling uh, forever. I think I think I'm gonna move the silicon over here. We'll say a thousand. Redeem posture check. That's fair. I yeah. <laughs> you could you could just spam that forever and still be relevant. Um, oh, is a cat gonna do the thing? Yeah, there we go. Cat cam. Um, okay, so this is all going away. Be replaced by something almost identical. Uh, you should go back in. Of course, I disconnected it, didn't I? Uh, you so you reverse. And you reverse. Maybe. Are you full? You're just full. Hmm. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Goodbye. Almost. No? Okay. Uh, so this is fine. That's fine. Uh, and I'm just going to take that out. But now I still need... I still need another station, don't I? Or no, I was going to remove this. That's that's what I'm doing. Now that my inventory is full of silicon. Hooray. Blam. And then th that's just going <laughs> to... That's just going to be a thing. Uh, but I can take the titanium. Yeah. So now, I need chemical with one ingredient. No. Why not? Is this going to be a grid alignment thing? Think, yeah, they're just too close to each other. Uh, well, that's cool. Uh, how about <laughs> how about I guess I'm assuming. work and we'll have to have to reroute a bunch of things but that's fine
what are you, what are you? You're more, more silicon. Um, all right. So you're, you're going to be our stalagmites demand. Or no. I clicked the wrong button. You. Let's see if I can do chemical factory this way. Of course, the you're in the way. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave some room actually. There we go. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a pair of these even. Since it's literally just the one ingredient, it won't be very hard. So you're just gonna come out like this. You're. I guess that's fine. Of course, it's the wrong thing. that and then oh I need they need a recipe that's a thing I didn't line them up even <clears throat> today's a real good day <laughs> it's fine it's fine uh, but then these are just going to come back out. suck because they're not aligned properly. I guess I'll just do them one row at a time. That's too close. And another. Yeah, why not? Because of the lake, obviously, but... <laughs> There we go. Oh, no. Or, huh? Is it, the, is it that, really? Are you in the way? I'm finally out of those <laughs> the chemical factories. Um, oh, we could be making quantum chemical plants even. Well, that'll be a separate project, I think. Uh, so down and up. Down, up. How many do you need for a 
for each go. We need six. They probably need better sorters. Yeah, look at that. No yellow dots. I think that's going to be an improvement. Probably want... I just refactor this whole thing. As these these are for these are for Dyson sphere parts, right? So I'm gonna want a bunch of these. And then these are these are for a bunch of things. These are for research. I'm gonna want a bunch of those as well. Could just I could just ditch the whole thing. Here, let's do <laughs> let's do this. Uh we'll get take you out of there, but then you're gonna be copper. For a moment. I don't even have to... I'm just gonna... Just gonna do it manually. You... Blam. And then the rest of this, I don't care. I'm just gonna little tiny little bit that's left, I'm gonna bury. And then hopefully they <laughs> they send that out in some kind of a reasonable time frame. Um, but the thing that you're needing is is those, right? Which I mean we're making now. Yeah, look at that. That's much better. Why aren't you... Well, because I took it out of here. Duh. I was hoping that this would all just... Would just go somewhere. Here, how about this? I'm just gonna grab it. Literally hold it in my hands. And fly it over. <laughs> Probably not even room in... In the... In the forges, even. Hydrate? I can hydrate. How's it going? You don't have to answer that. Uh, yeah, it's all full. I can, I can, I can squeak some in there. What about? Oh, what if I do? Is this a thing? No, you can't duplicate it. Okay. Uh, can I? Can I put down a chest while holding... No, I cannot. <laughs> uh, and it does. It so doesn't even matter. It's just copper. It's just copper. There we go. Don't care about anything else. Let's do that. And then it can go in whenever it wants. There. Okay. Now, now what do I do about this? So this, so I can fix this part at least, but I kind of want to, kind of want to move things around a little bit. I probably want at least room for two rows of these and two rows of these, right? So maybe, maybe what I'm doing is putting down a station like up here. 
because this can expand that way if it needs to. And there's, I mean, there's room. Okay, so I'm gonna do, yeah, let's do this. And these are all gonna be nothing now. Uh, the same, the same deals, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna replicate it. So there's gonna be silicon, plastic, and crystal silicon, and then, and then right, the broadband goes back in. Is that right? No, because the the silicon was for this other thing. Oh, but I. But the thing that the other thing is right here. Okay. No, I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And then this is the broadband's going back out. Okay. These demand. These will supply while they're while they're here. That's all fine. <laughs> Just shove it all in. Um, and then, I mean, I can just have this hoover back in, right? Or maybe not. I guess it has to... Fine. Then I can just take all this and move it over. Okay. You go away. Oops, I disconnected a bunch of things there, didn't I? Oh, they're attacking. There's a space assault. Space assault on our on our Dyson Sphere system. Which, if everything is consistent, then our our defenses can just handle it. Do kind of want to see though. Um, right here's a yeah here they are. There's 10 ships. They're they're going. Where are they going? Yeah, they're going to to planet number 2 again. And it takes them a minute. We'll check we'll check their progress in a moment, I guess. Um this I just like I wish it was a little further up, don't I? Maybe I maybe I don't care. Maybe I don't care. I'm just gonna do just do another row. This one I should because this is all just going it's all going in here. Interesting. I guess that's fine. Uh, okay, I mostly just need to hook things back in. Is this? Oh, because it's all so it's it's going in here, but also coming out here. So I should so this should beat into there. Okay, that'll be fine. That will be fine. Uh, 
Uh, so you're gonna need the titanium and the silicon and the nanotubes. And <laughs> there's not much room here, is there? Some of this can be cleaned up. Tubes are the only thing coming out of this station. So I really just need two ideally adjacent things. I guess I could do and then this is our stalagmites come down like this essentially I have returned hello welcome back I am moving moving things around because uh, we got our we got our stalagmites so this is gonna come out like that. Oh, but it should be... No, it should be the other way around. <laughs> uh, right? Is this all... Right, okay. So then you're gonna come out like this. And we're gonna go like this. And then this comes out like this and goes like that. That's not too bad. And then this is just full, right? Good. <laughs> it's very full. Uh, and then I want two of those coming out. I'm gonna do you and you. And then maybe one of these, uh, presumably this one. Like that. And then the other bits come from elsewhere, the silicon and the titanium alloy. Well, silicon comes from here. And titanium alloy comes from here. Because of course. Let's do... Let's do a pair coming out like this. Oh, come on. Uh, and then we could go like across like this. Uh, and then obviously the, the outer one would be fine. at the whoop hi all right 
right? So that's the silicon, and, and that one's the titanium. So this one. I think what I'm going to do is kind of... This one goes like that. This one goes... No, oh, they're not gonna be the same, but that's fine. <laughs> I care about this one because there's like the remainder in some of those conveyor belts still, but this one is new, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but then the silicon... Um, like if I have one... Not like this, right? I can... Do like this. And then this one comes out like this. You go across, you go across. And then you are just gonna be weird. It's fine. <laughs> That's not too bad. In theory, that will be all they need. Looks like it. Like, what's your problem? You need more of those. Oh, because it's a one up to there. Of course. It's all two, 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 two. Okay. And then they can't fit in there, so they're not going in there. Um, but yeah, and then they're going back there. I think that's going to be what they continue to do. And then this is probably a, a two, yeah. This is just going to go all the way down. And... Plug in. And then instead of... That coming around this way, it just comes out of here. other part is the actual particle broadband things. You know, the thing I was actually over here for in the first place. I don't know. Can I just get rid of this? Seems fine. Uh, probably need more foundations. Around here somewhere. Here they are.
No more legs, please. Um, this is a little bit of wasted space, but I don't care. Um, I'm going to put in our particle broadband thing again. That required three ingredients. Yep, sure did. Um, and that was an assembler, right? Assembler. I want assembler three. And I'm going to do a pair. Okay. So this also needs carbon nanotubes, of course, of course, of course. So now those are gonna have to come across all the way. And there's like, there's only two slots left here. Hmm. But if I can move these around a bit, we can come out from this side. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so this is fire ice coming out. Rafting going, or no, I need to go all the way around, don't I? Yeah, I do. So this is going to be, this is fire eyes coming out. Hey, look, that's in the way. Hey, look, we're being attacked. Okay. And then this is fire eyes coming out. This is graphing going in. Sheesh. And then we have our two spots here. But can I? I don't think I can quite squeeze through there. I think this needs to. Oh, did I? I probably trimmed that too close. <laughs> uh. Let's do like that, I think. And then you and you. <laughs> this is gonna just barely work. Cause then nope, oh, that does work, okay. And then I'm gonna go through here, and then this won't work there again. That seems... I didn't actually turn anything off there, okay. Okay. This is why I build so, so spaced out in the early stages. So I know this is what happens later. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go there. And you're gonna go there. That all seems fine. This is a full station now. Can't do anything else with this station. <laughs> that's... that's it. But this is... I mean, look how efficient this is. This is... This is two uh, two alternate recipes just uh, operating on its own. Like it's just fire ice into graphene and then stalagmites into nanotubes. And that's it. It's completely self-contained. 
Oh, I have I have hydrogen. I have a single hydrogen. Uh, okay, so I like that part. I do like that. And then you also need plastic and crystals, which are both right here. And then it's just gonna go back in. So that's that'll work out. Um, let's say. Right, because I'm going to do two in, so I'm going to do three for each. So I'm going to do, here's one, and then, or no, not silicon. Silicon's not for you. Plastic. Wrist silicon. Plastic. Crystal silicon. And then, yeah, you're gonna go like that. And then this is gonna go in, but then I want, I want this to go over. I think that's the smart way to do that. I want this to go over all this too. So that's fine. And then similar issue over here. That goes there. That goes there. This goes here. This goes there. That goes there. Perfect. That's not so bad. Look at that anti-spaghetti. And they're both, and they're going. Okay. Cool. Now I just want these to go much faster. Oh, but I need... I need a bunch of these. Processors, I need processors. I always need processors. Why is my inventory so full? I'm just full on all this crap again. You go there, you go there, thank you. So much crap. But look, we are we are researching again. That's the important part. Uh, I passed my <laughs> I passed the processors. Uh, so I want a bunch of these, right? Like, I don't need... I don't need these, right? Uh, well, I have them now. Or can I put them in... Here we go. These probably, honestly, probably don't actually need to produce that much. can actually support <laughs> with these conveyors, uh, but we're about to find out. 
I actually want to make sure that they're all tier three going in first, right? Of course, I should have done this before I copied and pasted. Oh, well. Sure, why not? We'll make we'll just do all tier three. Why not? Upgrade them before they're even placed. Oh, look at that. Whoops. I am upgrading sorters. Oh, well. <laughs> Clearly, I need more. More facilities. That was that was wrong, wasn't it? Yep. Nope, that was no no. I'm just No, I I didn't screw up. Okay. I thought I deleted a sorter. Nice temperature when things aren't too cold or too warm. I I agree. It's like it's um like it's cold enough that you need to put on a sweater, but not so cold that the sweater isn't enough. better still short a bunch of these obviously that's an easy fix don't need a thousand holy cow now i need iron mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now oh they're hitting some or no that's the stuff i have to do okay Sounds like 22 things broken. No, that's just me. Uh, iron is over here. Yeah, let's do, let's do a bunch more. What's the... 
Oh, did I accidentally upgrade to a tier 3 somewhere? I probably did. I also have reports about my attempts to engage Dark Fog Hive by doing drive-bys while it's next to my fortress world. Okay, tell me. Tell me, tell me. Working on it. Okay. What is going? Yeah, and look at our, our research is going again. That's that's what I like to see. All Corvettes gone, some infrastructure on the world took damage, but nothing was destroyed. All of your Corvettes are gone. Dark Fog's formation has visible holes. <laughs> okay. How many Corvettes did you start with? And like how upgraded are they? Because I have... My space fleet can do, what, 16 Corvettes? Problem was my defenses stop engaging when the Dark Fog stopped chasing me. Interesting. Hmm. All of my Corvettes are gone. How, how many did you start with? They're not very. <laughs> Um, cause I have, I'm upgraded to like level three on all their like attack and damage and, and attack speed and stuff. Give it four Corvettes? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I engaged with them at one point with just a couple ships. I had like one destroyer or something and it wasn't, it wasn't that great. Uh, but I think having a big swarm is going to be very helpful. This is the one I, yeah, I accidentally upgraded an assembler. Uh, but I can just do this. Perfect. Perfect. And now the thing that they're short on. Oh, you're just you're just needing. Oh, because I did it backwards. Because of course I did. Okay. And they're all going. Look at that. Plasma turrets were beautiful, but I'll need more. Okay. Level two all around. But you had to get within some range of your planet, right? Because I'm assuming the like plasma turrets planet side. Were they were they engaged the whole time you were engaged with them, or like once the like once the dark fog disengaged? Was that what made them stop, or was it like if you were too far away? I'm curious what their range is, like, attacking space targets like that. We're still- we're still going through them all. Hmm. But we also have to catch up. We're also catching up on- on our research. Do I want more? I wouldn't be able to do more rows, right? Because we're- we're using- we're using, like, all of our slots over here. What? They could go longer, even. Yeah. I bet these could be even longer. Could see them shooting as soon as I engaged. Okay. Might test how far they can shoot. That's really what I'm curious about. Jeez, there's a level level five bases sending 36 units on our on our black hole. I hate it. <laughs> um, I'm curious what our what's our consumption rate on on these broadbandy things. We are making way more than we were. Okay, so we're we're doubling our our consumption. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this. I think I think this has scaled up a bit. Um, and then this has room to grow as well, obviously. Cool. And then... Oh, but these are getting used! Look at that! Holy cow! But that can also... I mean, we have so many stalagmites incoming, that could also scale more. Alright, there's not more length room. But I could just move things. Because I don't know, because I couldn't do... Because this is full, right? This is full, full. Oh, but we could just do better, better things. That's... 
that's what we should do. How many of these can I make? I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times four. Because surely these would. I could. We could also proliferate. We could also just prol proliferate them. Uh, or maybe we do both. Maybe all of the above. Oh, and then I need steel. It's tempting, but not not tempting enough that I'm gonna do it, I don't think. But if this were like if this were just an offline game and I weren't trying to go at some I'm not going at speed or anything, but uh try not to go super slow either. It'd be tempting to set up all the little all the little drone bots. I got the impression that they can deliver two other stations, right? So I would love to have like a little... Like, I don't I don't want to build chemical facilities in a giant factory, right? Because we don't need that many. But like, we need... It is kind of annoying to have to fly around the planet for like, oh, I need steel. Oh, I need chips. Oh, I need glass. Like, those are all in very different places. So if I had just, like, a collection of chests that were connected up to the quadcopter network, it might be convenient to just have, like, just have a series of chests that have, like, all the things in them, right? Uh, I need to make, I need a bunch. Gonna be quite not quite enough. Let's do that. Um, I'll let those I'll let those build whatever. And then let's also since we are right here next to our actual Dyson Sphere component assembly junk, and since these are all doing fine, right? We're we're good on. Good on all that stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna do more of these too. Um, in fact, let's just do them all at once. Of course, I need. More, more, more everything. Ugh. See, like circuit boards and gears and stuff. Like if I could just have them all in a spot, even if I had to grab them out of a chest, if I could save myself the flight, that would kind of be convenient. But to set something up like that would be... That'd be a little fiddly, wouldn't it? It would take a little while to get all that set up. chips, of course. And I don't have enough slots in here to th get like all of the materials I would want to do that with, right? So you could do, you know, iron and steel and copper, and titanium and silicon and like you're already out of slots. And then let's just go ahead and upgrade all of this, right? I'm just going to call it tier two stuff. And then we're just going to extend the whole thing.
Ha. I'm just gonna... We're just gonna go. Are you, we want more of these things? We're gonna have more of these things. Of course, I am using so many assemblers. Maybe we do need assemblers making assemblers. Especially like the tier three ones. We're gonna be upgrading in mass. That's gonna be painful, isn't it? Do I make a factory factory? Is that the logical conclusion of all this? I do like having my, my bots come in and replenishing like all my belts as we're constructing. Like that's, that is very convenient, I gotta say. Of course I have to, <laughs> I am out. They're not replenishing that fast, clearly, uh, but we can go over, over closer to where they are. Now, they're also delivering from quite a long distance, aren't they? Oh look, here they are. Should have bothered to exploit the gas giant in my home system sooner because it has fire ice. Yeah, totally. Oh, geez. Yeah, this one has fire ice too, and it's very, very convenient. Okay, and then I'm gonna need more, more iron. This will be good. We'll be making we'll be making things a lot faster. I think um, a lot of the a lot of the ingredients that are going in there are are going better than they have in the past. Oh, and we should also proliferate. We should proliferate a bunch of stuff, shouldn't we? At this point, uh, oh, of course, more of those. Where am I on steel? I'll grab more steel. We're using all of them. Holy cow. Uh, let's just... <laughs> That's going to be... Okay. We'll grab more gears. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of these Tier 2 assemblers because I've been... We've been cranking through them. They have been getting used. Should be enough. And all these poor drones, they're probably just out like... I'm pretty sure what happens is like now these, dro now these drones can deliver like most of the planet. So I'll be out on the other side of the planet. I'll put down some, some conveyor belts. And then a drone on the other side of the planet will be like, oh, I need to bring 10 conveyor belts over and start flying. But they're so slow that by the time, like they'll get halfway there and then I've moved on. So they're just like chasing me around the planet trying to replenish my stuff. Not that this is a big a deal, but like, there's, there's probably times where like, I, I'm just sta standing there waiting for quadcopters to show up. Here we go. <laughs> okay, look, and they're all being 
They're all being provided for. This is all, or what are you out of? You're out of this, okay. Fair enough. And you're out of sales. Okay. That's fair. I that those are reasonable things to be out of. Um, I do I do want to proliferate though, don't I? I want I want to bring in a proliferator somehow. There's just no there's just no spots. <laughs> oh, and I need to actually upgrade these, don't I? Um. Sweet. Glad those have the same footprint. Uh, but that should get them going a little faster, right? Are you all still good? Probably not going to be fast enough on the conveyors now. Or the sorters, for that matter. Let's just give these all you know, tier three sorters. Except I don't have. Or no, they're like already tier two. Yeah, so now that's not going to be. <laughs> it's only going to use half of it. Ugh. That means I need another... I mean, that's fair. I, I just turn it into another row, but... But there's no room! There's no room! Do I have another... I guess we're going to need another station out here for the proliferators anyway. We should proliferate this, clearly. We should, we should proliferate everything. We should proliferate all of... This is all high-tech stuff out here. We should just proliferate everything. Okay, so that's... That's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna make... I'm probably gonna have another row of these out here. So maybe over here. And then I'll just run proliferator over. And, and around. And then we'll have have this go into our new station so that we can have more, more of our stalagmite coming out. Because then we could do four rows. That's what we're going to do. Just do like that or something. I mean, whatever. Why not? Well, this is going to demand boost juice. This will provide carbon nanotubes. So then inputs of course half the things here are outputting that so maybe the other way around I'm gonna say this is going in and this will have the stalagmites Of course, we'll leave room in here for something else. Not that that's... Whatever. Um, so then our, our inputs... 
are getting disconnected here. And then we're <laughs> copying the whole, the whole thing. Look at this. Look at this. Of course, now I don't know how far down the things they were going. Uh, should have done that first. Okay. I just want to evaluate how many of these are actually getting used. Of course, now this isn't actually demanding. Seems like. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's we're gonna chop it off here. copy this whole dang thing as crooked as it is this is just gonna be here I'll do we'll do a step <laughs> Supply. Okay. Probably don't need you. So we have our two, we have our two inputs, or we have our four inputs rather. So we're going to do stalagmite, stalagmite, uh, no, 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 probably going to have to rearrange all of this. Output is going to come out like this and go across, and then our inputs are just going like this. Or I could even go, go down one more. Maybe it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to judge. Uh, I'm gonna have to move this one a bit, aren't I? Thank you. 
need it here and here. No, if this was the wrong, that's the wrong one. What? Oh, what did I? Oh, because this is also the wrong one. And now that's silly. Okay. And then this is going here. Okay, so there's our four inputs. Jeez. And then now we have four outputs. All right, so I'm gonna go across. I'm just going to go up one. And then these... I'm go up. It's just these two are going in there. That, yeah, that's not going to work, but that is fine. It's mostly just like an order of operations thing, right? Just, I, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. And this goes across. Now I just need to get those two back over to there. And there's like just enough space there, isn't there? All right, we're just gonna go like that. And then, oh, just barely not. It's gonna have to go like up, up. But that's, that's also fun. Okay, and then you go there. You go there. Is that... Oh, then I made things... different somehow. <laughs> they were just tiers, tier 2 before, but that's... fine. Okay, any yellow dots? Who has yellow dots? I see a yellow dot. What are you needing? You're needing crystal silicon now. Wow, okay, well that's a new one. That's fine though. Um, let's make sure all of this is actually working as we expect it to. We have all of this stalagmite coming out. Uh, speaking of, I can go in. Uh, that's all good, so this can be nothing now. And they're all, I mean, they're all going, and they're like just barely going, right? They're, this last bit's yeah, I think that's about the limit of, of these. Probably going real fast since they're the tier two chemical factories. Uh, but we have stuff coming out of all four. They're all going in. 
This is now a lot more. Well, that's a good sign. And then we have all this stuff coming out. And you're all good. And then these are, these are going to be waiting on crystal silicon, which is its own other thing that we can get another material for to help that out. But stalagmites are put in and they're doing their thing. And then, and now we have boost juice. Now we can do this. Look at <laughs> look how fast it's going. Ooh. Um, so now we need to make some of the spray coaters. Here. Duh. Fine, whatever. All right, and then we'll run that down here as well. And then the thing we're short on is solar sails. Was that because we're still waiting on it from... <laughs> Holy cow! Oh. Okay, I'm glad I didn't put the slagmites in one of our other stations. That's gonna... Jeez, does it need its own thing? Or maybe the rockets need their own thing. But again, a 800 rockets is a lot of rockets. Could also increase our our minimum load size. can also do this. I mean, we have ships available, but we're just... Holy cow. Okay, well, at least we can... we can process that amount of stalagmite, so... That's fine. And then, and clearly, that's gonna be enough to satisfy us, right? Like, that's... That's all good. Um, and by, I am still going to proliferate because we'll get extra products out of it, which means we'll get more use out of our rare materials. I think I like that way of thinking about it. Um, and since it's just the one ingredient, it makes it real simple. Just gonna come out like this. Perfect. And now they are just going to produce so much. So so much. Right, you're you're proliferated. Yeah, you're getting extra products. Perfect. Okay. So then I'm going to take another proliferator out. And just come straight across. I guess I want these two, right? I'm going to do... Make this a little bit longer, I guess. Except I can do... It's fine.
then I am also doing, I guess I'll do them as they go in, just so I'm, I can recognize what's going on. Except they're wide. Why? Can't be backwards. I did, I did miss. Cool. So now we're proliferating our rocket parts. Extra rockets, just 25% extra Dyson Sphere. How about that? Uh, okay, so then that means the thing that we're short on is gonna be our, our, uh, our sails, which we can also fix. You're just gonna be, <laughs> you're just gonna be a thing forever now. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, that's going to be fine. Solar sails are made over here. They should probably be made over there, but then there's like... We have to move a bunch of this stuff, right? Because there's, there's that stuff, and then there's this stuff. Yeah, let's... I'm not going to move it. Uh, but clearly we could be doing more. Probably need a whole second row. Because how fast are these? These are made... Oh, I don't know. Oh, and these have their own... These have a recipe as well. What are we doing now? We're doing... We're doing that. So we could skip the prism with grating crystal. We should probably do that. Because <laughs> we're, I mean, we're making prisms for like our power towers and like these plasma exciters, right? We do not have more space. Are we, are we low on glass? Are we going through our glass? Oh, but if those are for prisms and like nothing else, then yeah, we should skip, we should skip doing that. And you, you have space. Okay, perfect. So really we need to be bringing in grading crystal. I'm curious. I don't think we were using all of that we're make or that we're gathering. We're not we're not producing any here clearly. But we are we are already using more than we're producing. Really interesting. Well, we can get our hands on more. I think that's the that's the thing is we're just gonna have to get more. Because more everything. Um, so I think I'm going to do two rows of photon combiners and two rows of solar sails. Which may or may not fit <laughs> in our current configuration. So I guess we could put, we could do a row here, right? So... I mean, it's... it's and it's still going to be two... From two ingredients to two ingredients, we're just swapping out what one of the ingredients are. So... These are already, like, 
bowl, aren't they? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Because <laughs> we, I want to make a bunch of these. Um, if I can just squeeze this... Not quite. Not that this is doing anything. Hooray, this is done! So circuit boards are still going to be a thing. And then this is going to stop being a thing. I'm being raided! Noah. Hello, hello! It's a raid! We're all being bombed! <laughs> They're probably all watching an ad. <laughs> uh... Raid! We're being raided! Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna grab that, right? Welcome in, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we are... we're making good progress. Uh, let's look at... what are, what's our sphere up to? We're almost up to five gigawatts. Look, it's all filling in nicely. Look at all those rockets. Uh, have fun building. Thank you. I am. Uh, we are. We're making great progress. We've we've upgraded a whole bunch of our production stuff. When we're, we're still upgrading more, um, we're getting our exotic materials going. Things are going great. How are how are y'all? What were what were you doing, Noir? <laughs> I guess I can even I can do the shadow thing, can I? Aha! There we go. <laughs> There's like I don't know what it is. There's some maybe it's a bot. But it'll like say so and so has been doing this recently. I don't actually know where to how to do that, but uh, let's see. Okay, so then I have and these are just those two things, aren't they? Okay. Where am I getting? That's coming from way over there. Could probably simplify that. This is coming out of our. <laughs> am I actually using this here? No. Okay. We can make that a little bit better. Let's say that the graphene is coming in here. Uh, let's try to crank this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So then... Well, this is gonna all be different. This is this goes away, and then we have that's that, and then that's gonna be the, the that. I want two two outs and two ins here, right? Not to mention the grading crystal. I'm gonna do. Right, because that's coming from there, and the other thing is coming from over there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want an out. And an in. I guess that's going to be the other side. I've been doing a lot of conveyor belting. A lot of indecisive conveyor belting. Uh, but then if I have this one come out... 
This one goes there. This one goes here. This one is for this, right? And this is for for, for this. And then it's just the photon combiners, and I'm gonna do the same kind of thing we did over. If these, and they're not like photon combiners aren't going on the network at all, are they? They're just. I mean, they're for some buildings, but really, and precision drones, which we're not making, it's really just for the solar sails, and like things that I make by hand. Maybe someday we'll be making ray receivers by by machine. Uh, but not right now, I guess. Because I don't... I mean, do I even have a spot? Not really. But of course, some of this is going away. There's like just a tiny bit of iron. <laughs> and copper. I mean, copper might be done. I think copper is done. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to change my mind. This is going to be for the prism, or uh, that, those. It's for those. Which means grading crystal comes out here, these go out here, and then these go back in. It's a little silly. But, but this is also where we're getting that, okay. Right, and then this can go away. And then our output can go like that. And then this will be for this. Why, why did I do that? And then the... And then the grating crystal comes out from here. Probably gonna need more... Plasma exciters, aren't we? This is gonna go across and here. This goes across. needs to <laughs> what uh it's whatever <laughs> uh and then you all need to be set to the other recipe like so Cool. I like that. I like the little box color there. Uh, so now we have photon combiners showing up there. And now they just need to come back out. Let's do, we'll do like this.
Did that go over? That went over. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna upgrade basically all of this. This is all twos, twos. It's all freeze. Alrighty. That's looking better. And then now I can make these longer without having to really worry about it. Hi! I have a cat. I mean, these are, these are important. We do need a lot of these. So I'm gonna make a lot of them. Love Pokemon music so much. Pokemon music is great. That one, I that one's not quite so convenient, is it? And look, I need more assemblers. RuneScape, I can't really enjoy the gameplay so much, but the nostalgia of the music is so strong. Yeah. I mean, I, I still play Pokemon sometimes. I definitely don't keep up with all the Pokemon games. Uh, but I, I've been doing like every other generation. Not even that intentionally, just kind of worked out that way. I really liked Arceus. Arceus was really good. Dabble. What's your favorite generation? I'm curious. What's everyone's favorite generation? That's a good question. Oops. Meh. Second. Second is... Had, second is such an interesting choice. I knew someone else whose favorite was second. Gen 2, probably. Interesting. I I did not grow up on second gen Pokemon. So after coming from like, you know, knowing the first gen Pokemon from pop culture, but then like the first one I played, the first one I really played was like Diamond and Pearl. I got into it way late. Uh, but then like looking back at second gen Pokemon, it's like, what are these? They're the second generation has such strange designs, I feel. There are a lot of the a lot of the misfits in all in all the designs. Wooper? Wooper's great. Had 16 emblems. Fair. Um. Meh. But like it, it introduced a whole bunch of weird, like Pokemon without evolutions, right? When I think of second generation Pokemon, I think of like Dunsparce. And like who else? Um, like Pineco. Pineco has a has an evolution, but like Summer Duds. There, I feel like I feel like Gen Two is has a higher proportion of strange Pokemon than other generations. And that might be just that might just be me. Um, nostalgia, nostalgia is pretty strong, right? So if it's the first one you grew up on, then you're going to like it. Um, but I think like the first one I really played all the way through was, was Diamond and Pearl. But then I played the third generation, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, way after the fact. And that might actually be my favorite. Because cause those, I really like Gen 3 Pokemon. Uh, let's just upgrade all the things, right?
Okay, I wanna I wanna make <laughs> we really wanna make a bunch of the solar sails. These are all two or threes going in. Yeah, Gen, Gen 2 was the weird one where, like, you went back to the Gen 1 area, right? Am I thinking of that correctly? Jeez, we have... there's... there's gonna be... there's stuff we have to fix. <laughs> We're getting hit so hard. Yeah, yeah. And that was... and, like, that's unique, right? Most bang for your buck? Yeah, that's fair. I get that for sure. Especially as, like, if you're... if you're a kid when that game was out, like... Bang, bang for your buck is like a big deal, right? That was that was a yeah. <laughs> uh, we should proliferate this too, shouldn't we? Somehow. I like that in Gen Two, you got like so high level at the end. So I remember being eighty-five after the last fight. That's true, and the uh, that was amazing. Only play the first three. Um, Red with hardcore in Gen 2. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look, we're out of circuit boards. Oh, no. Oh, no. Circuit boards. Really? Okay. Um. <laughs> There's not any room to make more. I guess we could do Gen, uh, the, the, yeah, the Gen 3, uh, these things. Gonna have to, gonna have to make more stuff. Um, but I definitely want to proliferate this stuff. I definitely want to proliferate the solar sails at least. We're gonna need so many of these. We're gonna need so many of these. Um... Yeah, Gen Gen Two is unique in that, right? No, none or the level thing. That's what I was gonna say. I know playing the other Pokemon games, it's like you get to the end, you're you know you're the champion, but you're still like level 50, 60, 70 if you grinded. And that that was disappointing to me. Not, and not just that, like, not that you beat the game at a low level, but that the game ends there, right? There's no zone with level 90 Pokemon in there to go to go train your Pokemon on, right? You're, you're just... You're just done, right? I remember trying to... Uh, I think it was Diamond and Pearl. I was trying to grind up to like a level 100. It's like, well, if I, I beat the game, I want to 100% the game. I'm going to 100... I'm going to reach the, me the level cap on my Pokemon, right? And that was just not gonna happen there there was not a zone where you can like get decent xp at that level and just grinding out to level 100 in a level 60 zone just wasn't gonna happen uh i think i'm gonna ignore this little patch of iron unless it's over here too yeah let's just plug it in over here So I agree. Like that that was that was revolutionary. Like the diamond and pearl for battling. I tried I tried. I I'm, I'm not good enough at Pokemon to be good at like PvP Pokemon. I really enjoy Pokemon as a game design kind of a thing, but like I am not I am not that good. Iron. There we go. Okay, so now you don't need to have iron and you can have juice. Not sure what I'd pick for Pokemon design. Cynthia was a good champion. I'm gonna have to remember what everyone looked like. Um 
Okay, so do we do we boost do we boost the photon combiners? Or do I just boost the sails? I mean, this is using an exotic material, and it's using something that we're short on now, so I guess I should just boost them both, right? If I have room. I think I can squeeze... I think I can squeeze them in there. There's the one with the black coat and the guard chomp. Ah, guard chomp. I have a hard time picking, like, a favorite, favorite Pokemon. Garchomp is like top three. Garchomp and Gengar. Those are probably my my favorites. If we go one and two, we'll just do like this. This goes over like three different grids. <laughs> uh, okay, and then juice comes out. And you now can we do like this? There we go. Gengar is a bit of an icon, it's true. Deservedly so. Uh, let's do... Okay. Now we'll be getting extra solar sails, right? Yeah. Eventually. Or no, I'm doing the... Uh... Oh, no, I'm doing that right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're just we're just out of photon combiners now. Holy cow, we just cranked through all of that. Popularity also seems slightly higher in queer Pokemon circles, just general, which is interesting. That's interesting. I don't know what would cause that. Uh oh, fine. Of course I'm gonna need. Circuit boards to fix it. Nope, that's not you. Okay. And yeah, cir it's circuit boards? It's not like they're not going. We just need a boost over here, too. We just boost everything at this point. How much boost are we even using? Now oh, we're still producing more than we're using. Not by much. Not by much. Is there room anywhere over here? Where are you? Oh, that's because I'm routing that over, over here. Could also be full storage, so gotta be careful with those numbers, true. True. Yeah, we'll we'll have to go check. I mean, it's a pretty small. It was a pretty basic uh, setup over there, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're already cranking through it. We're also using some on other planets as well. I'm sending some out to our launcher planet. Yeah, I'm using up a slot here for these for our for our uh, <laughs> for our space warpers. So I think I'm just going to say local demand remote storage. Uh, and then you just do that. So it'll get them the old fashioned way. This is also our station that's shipping out the solar sails. That's right. Um, 
I don't need this many. Or, yeah, two, two whole stacks? No, don't need it. Um, but now you're good. And now you're good. Now I have way too many. Uh, but then let's do boost. And then demand. And we're gonna do all of, I'm gonna do the whole row. Everything here is important. Top five Pokemon's hard to pick, I agree. I'm kind of, I don't really do like top of anything anymore. I've been thinking more in tier lists recently. Like I could name you a bunch of S tier Pokemon, but I could name you like the best Pokemon, you know? Um, yeah, let's do, let's do this. Let's make, let's make a bunch. Here, yes, which I need a bunch of semiconductors. Say top five. Can't think of top one. Yeah, but that's hard. Yeah. Uh, that's that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put away some of these space warpers. They go over here somewhere. I guess you can you can just have some extra. Some. There we go. I'd have to like look, I'd have to look at a list. I'd have to look at them all to remember enough to actually tell you like which ones I, I'm really fans of. But like Garchomp, um, like Palkia, a lot of the, a lot of the Diamond Pearl ones, um, or like where, um, like Bisharp and Ponyard. A lot of the steel ones. Um, Bronzong? Bronzong's one of my favorites. Steel is probably my favorite type. Um, like Metagross. Metagross is a good one. Uh, so I'm going to do all three of these. And I guess this is just two things, right? And then this is three things. And then this is two things. Oh, it's too close. Oh, there, oh, it's no. The grid. because of the turn is that what it is need to be up here well that'll make things weird you're just the one thing yeah okay pokemon i've had good run with too that i like for that groil groil slackoth flygon flycon's great i love flygons uh, I love Vi Flygon's aesthetic and wish it were better. <laughs> uh, there we go. Can I... Nope, not quite. Uh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir is great. Breloom is funny. Mydena is great. I love Mydena. Um... Breloom's a funny one to have feelings about, I guess. I don't know. It's a, it's a, that one's a silly one, I think. Um, and then we'll go to, uh, like, what do you mean? Oh. Oh, what I do here? <laughs> why, why is that possible? 
<laughs> Whatever. Um, and these names ring a bell because all the English names are so different. Yeah, translated to the English word, but still, yeah, that's true. The they do get all sorts of different names, don't they? I couldn't tell you what's what's what. Does that not line up? Yes, it does. Don't lie to me, game. Uh, I want to go. I want to go up. Like that. Just proliferate the whole dang thing, please. So these will these will go faster. And what's I mean, what's the hold up here? There's like there's a bunch here. Is this this is a tier three? It's just are we producing faster than a tier three conveyor can handle? I mean, I guess now with a proliferator going. Surely is top six anyway, not top six. Well, yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, what's, what's your top team? But if I'm picking like, if I'm picking my favorite Pokemon as just individual Pokemon, it's gonna be different from like my my favorite like six as a team, right? Wooper, Raichu, Charizard, Totodile, Espeon. Espeon's great. Articuno's great. Uh, Eddie Ursa, yes. Poly Polygon, or Porygon, Poliwhirl, Slowpoke, Slowpoke, jeez. Lapras, Cubone, lots of classics. Just do a tier list. We should all, all do it. I'll just do a tier list. Let's just do a group Pokemon tier list. Why not? Top team is wildly different because team has to be a unit. Exactly. Yeah, they have to complement each other. How do I do this? Do I have another conveyor belt coming out? Or is this what the uh, is what the stackers are for? I've never really used that. I've never never really used a pile sorter. Integrate multiple cargos into one and feed it out. Even a slightly expensive good deal for those engineers who are dedicated to the to the to run the conveyor belt at full speed, yeah. So if you were a gym leader, what type? Oh, that's a good question. Would help you here. You have them already. Yeah, I have. I have pile sorters research. I just haven't. I just haven't used them. <laughs> um, I guess I would want like three at least, right? Um. So is is the idea? Try them out there. Perfect scenario. Okay, so then, so do they, do I just replace these three with pile sorters? Or do I need to have like more, more sorters coming out? One pile sorter can output 720, 720 a minute. Wow. Do these, oh, these just, they just upgrade. Well, that looks better. I mean, it's... I guess I assumed they were more complicated than that. <laughs> so that's going to be the capacity of the conveyor. Are they fully resourced? No, I haven't been upgrading them. I well, I, have, I haven't been using them, uh, so I've been skipping them. <laughs> we can do that now, though. Can feed out two stack cargos. Oh, they can't do. They don't do anything by default. That's hilarious. Well, we can fix that. We'll we'll start 
Well, I mean, only takes yellows. I mean, sure, we'll go up. We'll go up to there. Ultimate upgrade can load and unload simultaneously. What does that even mean? I thought the research they don't do anything, but I researched. But I researched this. <laughs> why? Why does this? Why do I research it here? And it's just like, you'll fix it later. Just means it zooms real quick. Okay. Oh, you like the travel? Okay, I see. I guess that's fair. Well. So we should do we should do the inputs too, right? Ideally, because um, these are these are these are tier three conveyors here, getting backed up. I mean, these are also at their at their capacity, right? So they're they're just com they're coming in as fast as they're coming out. Well, that'll 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 be better once the <laughs> the upgrade finishes. Wait for research, then you'll see. Okay, yeah. I mean, I assume this first one's gonna go pretty quick since it's only sixty k hashes as opposed to nine hundred. getting all those all those extra products now let's go check on let's go check over here you're going hey look yeah there's okay I want to make sure I want to make sure that these will have their stuff because these are important Look at all these, look at all our solar sails. Perfect. That bugs me, but whatever. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this, that research will be pretty quick. Let's just see it instantly get better, yeah? There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. So it's like you can see... Yeah, there's like two of them there. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, that just... That fixed it. Okay. I understand now. I understand now. I thought they were going to be more complicated than that. Because they have the... They have these automatic pilers, right? Automatically merges two cargos. Yeah, for some reason I assumed that I'd be taking multiple belts and, and merging them together, not just not just outputting with the faster thing. But whatever. Basically make automatic pilots completely obsolete, which is funny because they come from the same research. So we're better in any way. Yeah, it seems like it. Clearly, I didn't I tier list is huge, I bet. I mean, there's like a thousand Pokemon, right? There it goes. We're gonna do threes now. Doesn't even need to. Oh, it's like sometimes. Look at that. And it's just gonna output this whole... Yeah, okay. So now we are outputting our whole production line onto the conveyor belt properly. Perfect. And then this should... This should go up too. Okay, well that'll help. Now it's being proliferated. It's going faster. Oh, but now, now that we have the things, I can make the things. And then it will go real fast. And can do, we can do. Mm. 
Don't don't hand make the particle broadband, please. I guess that would be silly. Uh, but we can make we do that. Look at that! Look at all our particle broadband! Holy cow! That is so much better. And then this is perfect. Perfect. Look at all that. Perfect, perfect. So much internet. Yeah, we have <laughs> 5G out the butt. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, this is looking better. And then, right? I don't even know how many of these I need. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Uh, right. And these are. I have six. There's gonna be nine quantum chips, which are. Not near here. Oh, hey, these aren't doing anything anymore. Those go elsewhere now. Here we are. Yeah. Okay. Then, sure. I need iron. Yeah. That's that puts me at 12. Oh my goodness. Another batteries. Look, all those batteries. And we're because these are boosted batteries, right? So we're actually discharging more than the rated power of these things. So we should put down more, but like, geez. We're still good. That was too much. Literally want two of these. Really, it's the titanium that I don't need. Which I also can't fit. Oh my gosh. Did you know you can use the left columns as storage also? Oh, you mean these? I guess... I guess not. Fair. Can I put... Put like the thing... They, not like on top of these, right? It would be like... Can I just put it there? What? But if when they come in, they don't go back there, right? Like when the drones deliver them? How big, the, how big can these get? They go into your inventory. But like if they like, am I are they going to deliver more to me now? Or do they consider that as part of in my inventory? Can build replicate all those slots. Jeez. Nope, didn't know that. They consider okay cool one thing that i was being annoyed by was that they weren't considering like the stuff in my mecca like i would rather i mean i guess if i can put all this stuff over here but i would rather them just deliver straight into my my hangar right uh where where am i i'm going this way yeah no now we got pile sorters upgraded. Oh, and here's our here's our boost. Okay, I we are using it. Or no, we're good. <laughs> Never mind. We're fine. Um, how's our rockets doing? This is all doing great. And now it's it's what? It's our it's our frame material that we're short on. 
That's fair. I mean, yeah, we can we can expand that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now I want to upgrade these to all tier three assemblers. How do you like that? Now we're, we're just back up to capacity. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all gonna, <laughs> look, we can't even supply. It's like now, now a packed tier three of, of iron isn't enough to supply all these assemblers. Not to mention the sorter is not keeping up. We're gonna have to do pile sorters for all those too. So now the question is, circuit boards go quick, uh, they do now. Um, I can't, maybe, so this is what the, this is what the merger is for, right? Cause I can't take out of a, of a station at higher than the capacity of just the one stack of, of the belt, right? And I, I mean, I guess I have another belt. But I would have to take, I would have to bring out another belt of iron and then stack the two. If I wanted to fully co supply this, this line, right? Like the copper seems fine. They use, they use twice as much iron. Yeah. Not for now, unless you can merge two belts together and be done with a pile sorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's going to have to be what happens here. Cause I really just have the one spot. Of course, I, I'm going to have to squeeze it in there somehow. Well, is it? I mean... It's hard to tell. Like, visually, it looks like it's not going constantly, but it could also just be, like, going so fast, right? Total Cargo 104. Like if I did a piler, I just need the one, right? Does it not a logistics? That's one of these. Okay. Uh, how how do you work? Try up. Could be like this. And then, wrong way. But then like, where does the other input go? Can I put, does this take two inputs? Do I, do I not understand anything? Does that come out? Right, so it is stacking. Oh, and then, okay, so then another belt can merge with it. Is that the idea? I get it. I think. Okay, well, I guess that's not as complicated as I thought it was. Uh, but still, it's gonna require <laughs> I don't I don't have the space for it. Uh, so then I want I do like this. I need you to come out with iron. And then no. Because it's all it's all just on the wrong side. Pile sorter gets it done now a little more smart though. Maybe I can display this. Try putting a power sorter backwards on a belt. Oh, I know what you mean. 
like just just along the belt. That's kind of funny. Am I out of? Oh, but now now I don't have now I don't have pile sorters here or sorters here at all because we're all here. Weird. Um, I think what's going to have to happen here. Hi, cat. Um, now that I forget what those were, that was copper and magnets, right? And then, and then this is going to have to... I guess we'll do... Like this. Uh, right, so then some copper from the middle. Magnets from here. Iron from here. And then you're going to go across. Except you can't, you just can't, just can't. Just like a backup storage, interesting. Doing their tier list and it's clear I'm just prejudiced to middle evolutions. Really? I really I always like the third one. The third one's always the best. Um, so I'm gonna go over. And then I'm gonna do a pair of these, right? This might this is probably isn't the most the, the best way to do this. Uh, this way. Against them? Oh, that's fair. You don't, you don't like middle evolutions? And then we're just gonna do like that. Is that how it works? Not too bad. I mean, it's got. I mean, I guess we can see. I don't know. They are stacked. Or did I? It's the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> it's the wrong one. Uh... <laughs> what? Why is it stacked over here and not over here? Okay, so then... What have I done? Oh, my brain. Do... <laughs> this is silly. This is really silly. that are going to get combined. Can, can these just go side by side? Oh, yes. That's the only building in the game I've seen that allows you to just smoosh them together like that. Everything else would be like, nope, we're too close.
Okay. Then this goes here. And then this one. <laughs> goes here. There. Or no, did I do it wrong again? How is... I did it wrong again. Okay. No. No, I did it right. No, that's right. Yeah, because that one goes over there. Okay. Yeah. And now... Now they're all going. Look at that. Kind of. They just need better sorters. Don't cheat. No, don't see. Now, now they're not using. They're not using this for crafting. Right? Because now it's going to have to make all the things. Hmm. Really disliked that, but got used to it. Yeah, that's fair. Things like that, I feel like... I mean, it's an early access game still, right? So I feel like, I feel like things like that will just kind of... Maybe eventually be better someday. But it's hard to say. Um, yeah, I'm just going to upgrade this whole, this whole thing. Okay, how about now? How are you... I'm still seeing yellow dots. But why? It seems like it should be fine. Is it just because it's... It can't output for that moment? Output sorter is too slow. Oh, because of the bonus. Is the, is the bonus, the proliferated one is... uh. Hanging them up for a second. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so now... Now we're just full, right? Now we're just full. Now I can't tell how efficient it is because we've made too many. <laughs> Here, let's, let's do this. I want to see. I want to see how much I fixed it by. That looks good, though. That looks good. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now. What are we producing at now? 2,000? 2, 2,000 circuit boards a minute? It's gone up a little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pretty fast production, though, so hard to figure out throughput. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like, these are a real kind of base material, right? So... They go they go fast, but you gotta make a bunch of them. Each one of these factories is making a hundred a minute. Jeez. Each side of this line is, like, it's almost packing this conveyor just on its own. Okay, well. Good. Good. I think, and then if we look at like our, our actual rocket parts, yeah, look at this. We're making solar sails. That's been... <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's gone up a little bit. Learn new things because of it, yeah. I mean, that's why I like these games. Like, the process of figuring those things out, I mean, that's fun, right? That's the fun that I'm getting out of this. And now, and now we've used pile sorters. I've never actually gotten to the point of needing pile sorters. That's really what it was, was I would have 
Like I've I've made whole Dyson spheres before, but I've never like really needed to do that before. Um, where's our rockets? Where's our rockets? Rockets. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And then, and then the thing that was holding them up was like a thing that we could also just expand pretty easily. You know, like these? I think we just make this bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this could all be, t we could do tier threes all in here too. For the sake of copy and pasting, I'm going to do this. Use. Oh, almost? No, not quite. It's probably good, honestly. Well, I mean, these are, these are quite important. different types in here. My plan was to get to uh, antimatter and white cubes and such, but uh, that clearly didn't happen. But you know, we've we've bulked out a lot of this. We got our hands on stalagmites. We got that plugged in. We've we've gotten our our actual Dyson sphere parts are going going nuts now. Up to five and a half gigawatts out here. Look at all those rockets. Um, we're gonna have to go back out and visit. Um, I'm not seeing any solar sails, which is a little strange. We should have line of sight on our stuff at all times now because we're on both poles of our planet. But I don't know. Um, but the the rockets, at the very least, are going are going pretty good here. A lot going on. I know, right? Look at that. It's getting bigger. Oh, we did change. We did change the pattern. Okay. Huh. We'll have to we'll have to like actually get particular about <laughs> how this thing looks. Interesting. This isn't just not, it's just not fast enough. It's just not fast enough. We're at the point where everything needs to be a tier three. Of course, this one's going in through the splitter. Maybe that's, maybe that's a problem because it's gonna need a lot more of those than the other things. Four versus one, yeah. 
whatever. I'd have to... Might be a bad idea. Um, but really I just want... I want to flip the two of them. hope that they figure it out because now they're not going to be able to get yeah uh so i need to, i don't know i would just do like this Until it gets to the right thing. There we go. Oh, fours. That looks better. No sleep. 2 a.m. Yeah, I've gone on too long too. Um, so we'll we'll wrap up here. Nighty night. Have a good night, GM. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming by and keeping us company. Um, we'll be we'll be here on Saturday. Come by on Saturday. We're gonna do more door fortress. You're all good. You're supposed to end at 1 a.m. and keep me in check. I know, right? Yeah, it's, that's my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do some speed dwarfing. Yeah, cool. We're that's I think that's it for the day. Um, definitely not your bad. No, it, it's my bad. <laughs> I should have stopped at least half an hour ago, but then I get an optimization brain. Um, but yeah, um, that's that's it for me today. Come by on Saturday. We're gonna do some more dwarf fortress. Um, we're gonna we're gonna work on we're gonna work on a speed run. How about that? Um, I. I currently hold the world record, but I want to keep go I keep want to keep going and I want to make sure that it's like repeatable and not just like some fluke that no one can ever replicate again. Um, but I think I think we can turn it into something kind of kind of reliable. I don't know if I can get it reliable within like the four hour range. That would be that'd be so cool. Um, three, three to four hours would be would be fantastic. Um, so so come by on Saturday and we're going to try that. We're, we're just going to do it. We're gonna, I'm going to I'm going to do what I did last time, but not on stream. That's a, that's a thing, right? I haven't streamed it. Um, so I'm going to do it and we're going to see how it works. And and if the game kicks our butt, then so be it, because that's how Dwarf Fortress works. But I want to give it a couple good shots. Well, thanks for the follow. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, so come by on Saturday for that and then come by next week, Monday and Thursday. We're going to keep going on Dyson Sphere gonna keep optimizing we're gonna keep building we're gonna keep going up until it's done uh, i want i want to finish this i don't i don't want to leave things unfinished i want to i want to get there i want to do the thing but we're gonna do the thing um so yeah thanks for thanks for hanging out um connection error that's cool 
Today's episode was brought to you by an app that don't work. Oh, come on, really? This thing. Rocks. Rocks! The things that we're turning into all sorts of things. Rocks are great. And now it's... and now and it won't... it won't turn off again. Oh well. Uh, but also by you. Like all the buttons down there, like and following. The following's great! It's a good one! Uh, following, subscribing, joining the Discord, lurking, chatting, all that good stuff. That's, uh, that's the ground beneath my feet right now. So I appreciate you, I appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate you being here. Um, I will see you... I will see you on Saturday. And I hope you stay kind. Let's find someone to raid, huh? Let's, yeah, yes, app. Shut up. Jeez. <laughs> Stupid app. Um, Radu is playing against the storm. So that sounds like a good one. Uh, raid Radu. That's a that's a game we're gonna get to. Um, against the storm, I've I've heard that it's good, and we're going to do it at some point. Um, so yeah, let's go say hi to Radu. And have a good rest of your week.